hormone system or FM system is made up of two parts the teacher transmitter and the student receiver or receivers. I have examples of two transmitters here. This is one type of transmitter and this is another type. One of the most important things to remember aside from turning it on every day is to place the microphone in the appropriate position. So if you make the hand shape for a sign language Y you would take the thumb and put the pinky on your chest and that's about where your microphone should be located. The microphone is built into this type of transmitter and it's actually on the side here. So this transmitter you would put around your neck and you would need to place up here. So you adjust the antenna so that the microphone is sitting a little higher. It needs to be just a tad bit higher. Um, I did have one time someone who uh, broke this cable and they just attached it to a lanyard, but it's real important to remember that this cable is actually the antenna for the signal, and if it is um, broken in any way, the signal won't get out throughout the classroom, so when you're walking around, the student may not hear what you're saying. This is a more common type of transmitter, and while you can store the microphone wrapped around it like that, you can't wear it like that. The microphone cable is actually the antenna for this system. Again, you want to make sure that you have proper microphone placement. So this one would be placed approximately there. Um, you can see by the shirt I have on today that that microphone is not going to stay in place. Um, so you might want to try a different um, way to put the transmitter in place. We have a lanyard that is um, provided with each transmitter and it snaps onto the back of the unit and you can have you can adjust this wherever you would like for the unit to be sitting. You can see it's getting in the way of my ID tag. I left that on there purposefully today to show you that. Um, I would actually prefer it to be a little lower when I wear it like that. But again, you want the microphone to be approximately there. And this microphone needs to be up straight up and down. If you try to attach it to, say, a t-shirt material or something like that, it will never stay in place right and the student won't hear you properly. So you want to make sure that you have good microphone placement. <clears throat> if you do have a shirt on that allows you to clip the lapel mic, um, appropriately you can use this belt clip and it snaps in place on the bottom of the unit and you can then snap it to your belt or your pocket and place the microphone. Anytime any piece or part of your transmitters break um, this little clip that's on your microphone comes loose a lot. Uh, we have lots of spare ones in the clinic. If anything breaks or you have any questions do not hesitate to contact our clinic at the School for the Deaf and we will assist you so that the student's downtime is at a limit.